Well, let's take a look at what is happening in the markets and we start off with the JSC. Uh, the local boss are struggling there today, not managing to hold on to the gains that we did see yesterday. Uh, of course, looking at, uh, actually quite interesting because you did have those Asian markets rising uh, overnight, but the JSC deciding uh, to trade in the red today. Just looking at how uh, the boss has done today as we try and get those uh, uh, that board up at the all share on the day declining almost at nine tenths of a percent. Uh, those gains largely being read by the resources at 10 complex. There is slumping almost uh, well, just more than a three and a half percent. Industrial 25, they were the slump of more than one percent. But backing that overall trend is the financial 15. They were the gain of almost one and a half percent. Let's take a look at what is happening stateside and on that front. Uh, yeah, uh, those markets actually, uh, particularly the S&P 500 and the tech heavy NASDAQ uh, yesterday reached uh, fresh uh, record highs. Uh, and that is after the Fed, uh, the Fed's uh, latest uh, interest rate decision where interest rates were unchanged as expected. Uh, but the Fed, uh, they're coming out with an indication that there may be one interest rate cut this year and not two or three as markets uh, had expected there. Uh, we did also have data coming out, some encouraging data on the inflation front uh, with uh, producer prices actually falling for the month of May uh, versus uh, the uh, expansion that was expected by the markets. More good news there on the inflation front. We also did have uh, the weekly jobless claims coming out or growing more than what markets had anticipated. They're now at their highest level uh, since October, since August. Uh, 2023. We are seeing the S&P uh, 500 pulling back a little bit there by almost a fifth of a percent. The uh, Nasdaq extending those gains that we saw yesterday by 0.16 percent and the Dow there uh, with a slump of almost two thirds of a percent. Let's take a look at what is happening across the Atlantic and those markets, they're uh, not managing to eke out any gains at all. Uh, the CAC 40, their nose diving more than 2%. Uh, the DAX with a slump of almost 2%. Uh, the FTSE 100 carrying the least of those losses, shedding more than 7 tenths of a percent. Let's take a look at what is happening on the currency front and we start off with how the RAND is doing. Again, some of the major currencies, uh, the RAND, they're remaining steady at 18 rand of 45 against the US dollar, against the pound at 23 rand 54 and against the euro at 19 rand 85. Let's take a look at how the other currency pairs are doing, starting off with the euro dollar at 1.07, pound dollar at 1.27 and the yen just below 157 against the US dollar.